that uh, uh, Anisha was explaining is that there is uh, there are cases where it has been proven that sedition law has been time and again been misused in this country and many critics have touted this to be a law from the colonial times as well and uh, at this point of time this looks like an end game for sedition law in this country and it's come in as a respite for many sedition cases there have been many prominent sedition cases also in this country it involves activists as you already know it involves some prominent journalists as you already know but Perhaps this is a shot in the arm coming in for free press in this country too uh, with this observation that has been made by the Supreme Court today. But having said that, I just would like you to walk you through what this uh, uh, judgment uh, really is all about. Uh, it says uh, that keep all those cases which are currently going on in abeyance and stay all the trials under the uh, sedition law and examine the sedition law first. So the center will really have to... Uh, uh, examine the sedition law and uh, this also means that states and center will now be refraining from registering any FIRs which are going to be invoking section 124A of the IPC. So you cannot register any FIRs under it but the existing FIRs will not be quashed and that's a very important technicality that was even explained by a lawyer who joined us on this broadcast earlier and Anisha Mathur also explained it. Uh, the court has also urged the central government, the state governments to refrain from registering any FIRs invoking section 124A of the IPC. Um, the petition, uh, the, the, the court's observation does not seek to quash the FIR, but uh, at the moment you cannot be registering FIRs that invokes the section 124 a of the IPC. If we have Nabila with us, she'll take you through the rest of this broadcast in just about a bit. Uh, uh, but that's a big story that we are uh, tracking at the moment. End game, sedition law. Uh, Supreme Court going on to say, keep all the cases in abeyance, stay all trials until sedition law, examine sedition law first. That's the big story that we're bringing to you. Let's get you some reactions that are coming in from prominent journalists, coming in from prominent activists, from political parties as well. Because this is a de defining observation made by the Supreme Court and a big game changer uh, coming in really. Nabila is joining us, my colleague. She joins us from the studio for all the very latest uh, and will walk you through the rest of the broadcast. Uh, Nabila, we do know that there have been so many prominent cases, whether it is a popular journalist, some activists, very high profile sedition cases also. And this gives them slight bit of a relief at the moment and it's a, a landmark observation coming in from the Supreme Court, of course, putting the ball in the central government at the moment. Right, Chaiti, this is uh, surely a landmark uh, observation considering that sedition law, as the court has observed, many governments in the past, be the central government, even the Maharashtra government, in the latest, where the Rana couple were slapped with sedition charges, it seems like now... Uh, some kind of relief for those people uh, who have been booked under sedition law. In fact, the Rana couple in the latest also appealed against this uh, charge in court. But it seems like now the court, the Supreme Court, has observed that sedition law has been largely misused and that the central government now must review it and uh, try and understand what provisions must uh, be allowed under the sedition law and what must be reworked. Of course, this comes as a big relief to all those people who have been booked under the sedition law. Many journalists, like you said, uh, have been booked. In fact, we're looking at the sedition law. Uh, so far, many cases have not been able to get bail. They've been seeking bail, but none of them so far have been able to ob obtain bail considering the sedition law has been so harsh. But now it appears that the Supreme Court has decided that until the central government reviews the sedition law and comes out with a response, this law will be kept in abeyance. Those who have been already booked under sedition law can seek bail from, Supreme, uh, from court. In fact, they can approach court to seek bail. And that comes as a huge, huge relief for those who have been booked under sedition law. Now, we know that three judge bench comprising Chief Justice of uh, India, N.V. Ramana, Justices Surya Kant and Hima Kohli, have in fact said that petitioners have raised contention that if grant is adjourned, 
then how to protect the interests of people who are already booked under Section 124A. And on this uh, petitioner's observation, it appears that the court has now decided that all those cases who have been booked under sedition law, they now can seek bail from court. Uh, it seems like a big relief for many, many of those people who've now been, uh, who, who are arrested, who languish.